Welcome everyone. This is Managing Bulls and presenting to you today are Brandon, Anna, Faye, Mark, and Tiffany. We hope you enjoy our TV concept as we had a lot of fun creating it. So let's get started, shall we? The plot of this story takes place at Hillside Realtors, where honesty is our best policy. The emphasis on honesty foreshadows the fact that all is not as it seems at Hillside Realtors. We will find that the head of this real estate company is masking a heavy amount of fraud and has done so for many, many years, even with the help of one of his agents. It's up to the bookkeeper and assistant coordinator of human resources to unravel the mysteries that lie within the company. The concepts covered will be making ethical decisions, managerial ethics, and social responsibility. Our target audience will be millennials and especially the silent generation, who may be experiencing similar situations in their own workforce. So, without further ado, let's meet our characters, shall we? Meet Aaron Jackson, the branch manager of Hillside Realtors for eight years. Upon first meeting him, you will find that he presents himself in a smooth, professional manner. He is married and a father of two, well-educated, and very charming in nature. He appeals to his clients and co-workers alike, and all seems well in the front. However, in reality, he has been misusing his managerial authority to host unnecessary and extravagant meetings, steal money for the company, all while having affairs with even his own agent. It is later revealed that this amount of theft has been building up for several years and continues to do so with no remorse, giving him the codename Swindler in our TV show. As a manager, his positive qualities include that he's charming, he appeals to his clients and co-workers alike, he's confident and incredibly cunning, able to make quick decisions. And of course, he's well-educated, and he does apply his knowledge accordingly. However, his negative qualities include that he's incredibly sleazy. He overexerts his confidence. He's dishonest and hides the frauds he has been committing for years. And of course, he's irresponsible, as he's been using his managerial powers in unethical ways. And who will be the one to bring Mr. Jackson to justice? Well, let's find out. This is Jessica Hernandez, and she is what you might consider to be the protagonist of this TV show, as she is the main reason Aaron Jackson will eventually become exposed for his wrongdoing, automatically dubbing her the whistleblower. She has been the bookkeeper for this company for the past three years. Jessica is very analytical in nature and enjoys mystery novels, which is obviously useful in unraveling her own mystery at her job. She is the first one to take action upon said mystery in alerting human resources of every act of fraud Mr. Jackson had committed. Her intuition is unmatched and is or overall very organized, efficient, and confident. Justin Sachs is Jessica's point of contact when calling human resources. Justin has already built a reputation for being incredibly persuasive and has already resolved many issues within Hillside Realtors. Unlike Mr. Jackson, Justin is genuine and honest, making him more of a prime example of what a manager should be. He is idealistic, fair-minded, and thoroughly enjoys people when he can. Despite the fact that he's only been working at Hillside for six months, He's quite enthusiastic and continues to impress his co-workers and boss. He is automatically dubbed the mediator since he's so good at resolving these issues. His traits can be summed up in the words idealistic, astute, and persuasive. At the tail of this cast of characters is Hannah Mosley, dubbed the puppet of this TV show for various reasons. Remember how I had said that Jessica was the first to take action when discovering Mr. Jackson's crime? Well, Hannah was the first to know, 
period. She is an agent who has fallen for Aaron's charm and has had her own affairs with him. She helps Mr. Jackson conceal his many acts of fraud and relishes in the benefits he gives her. For these reasons, she's known to be narcissistic, flirtatious, and just as secretive as Aaron Jackson. Now that we've learned a little bit more about the characters at Hillside Realtors, let's see how they interact throughout our TV series. Episode 1, The Boss Man. In Episode 1, we are introduced to the fraud occurring at Hillside Realtors. While Jessica, the bookkeeper, is going over the company's accounts, she notices Aaron has been overspending by thousands in his account designated for client meetings. This is because he has been taking them to extravagant dinners and to other out-of-budget events. Some of the money he has also been spending on himself for personal extracurriculars. This includes going to the casino to gamble and taking out his mistress on an account that he did not believe could be tracked. Episode 2, Scandal. In this episode, everything is brought to light when Jessica approaches Hannah looking for answers. Hannah, the top real estate agent at Hillside Realtors, confesses about her inappropriate relationship with Aaron. The Code of Ethical Conduct, which is a formal statement that outlines types of behavior that are and are not acceptable, is currently being violated in this situation. Since both women have been friends since high school, Hannah asks Jessica to ignore the situation and swears she will end the relationship with Aaron and advise him not to commit any more fraud. Episode 3. Enough is enough. In Episode 3, Jessica struggles with having to do the right thing at the expense of her long-term friend. She knows what is right, so she calls Justin at Human Resources to make him aware of the situation. He thanks her for being a whistleblower, which is an employee who discloses illegal or unethical conduct on the part of others in the organization. He lets her know that he understands it is not always the easiest thing to do, but it is certainly always the right thing to do. Justin terminates Aaron because of the illegal behavior and files a lawsuit. He also gives Hannah a warning and demotes her to a receptionist position. She will be here until she can further prove herself to be a trustworthy employee again. Now let's take a look at the progress our team has made so far. Brandon has been our group organizer. His Google Drive and his group chat he created have worked flawlessly for all of our assignments and communication. He also has contributed to the design challenges for the group. Anna has contributed to design challenges as well. She also helps other group members come up with creative ideas for their portion of assignments. Mark has assisted in creating both character profiles and a breakdown of the three TV episodes and what will happen in each. Tiffany has brought our characters to life in this presentation with a more in-depth character analysis and helps other group members with valuable ideas. Faith, myself, has created the charter for our TV show idea and <clears throat> created the character visuals. I have also brought the episodes to life with detailed summaries during this presentation. So far, we have had a very successful experience in our group. Our decision was to separate the assigned work into sections and divide and conquer. Each of us complete our assignments in a timely manner and upload them to the Google Drive. At this point, we give each other constructive criticism before submitting any of our work. We will continue to use this method because it has been successful so far. We also look forward to the rest of the semester's assignments now that we all have a clear idea of our responsibilities and a better understanding of what we are creating. Thank you so much for watching our presentation and we hope that you enjoy our concept.